Hi, I'm Curtis Knight, and when it's time to do centerpieces on the day of your wedding, we have a lot of discussion with our brides and grooms, and sometime when we're planning the wedding, brides and grooms will say, you know, we don't want any interaction, and we don't want any games, and we don't want anything cheesy, and we don't want anything goofy. So don't say anything and just let the people take them. Whoever wants them can take them. Or they'll say, just make an announcement. Whoever has a birthday closer to the groom's birthday or closer to the bride's birthday or closer to today's date, they can take the centerpiece home. In case you're not familiar, there's a tradition at weddings. There's a centerpiece, a little thing in the center of every table. Sometimes it's a little tiny aquarium with a fish in it. Sometimes it's a plant. Sometimes it's a big, tall, fluted vase with flowers on top of it. There are all different types of centerpieces. So it's become a tradition that we give them away. One person at each table is going to win the centerpiece and we need to determine which person at each table is going to win the centerpiece. So one of the ways that I like is quite interactive. It takes about three minutes and sometimes brides and grooms panic and they say, ooh, how long is that going to take? I don't want to waste any time. We want to get right to the dancing and we want to dance a lot, lot, lot. So don't make this announcement. Don't make that announcement. Don't give away the centerpieces and we don't want anything other than get to the dancing. But people can only dance for two hours to two and a half hours. Sometimes on an extraordinary evening they can dance for three hours or three and a half, but it's very rare. And three very important words, once your celebration begins, throw them out. Don't let your guests stay too long or they don't enjoy your celebration as much as they could have. You want them to say, oh, I wish it, it had been longer. That was a great wedding. So please don't worry about, ooh, is there time for the centerpieces? There's always time. And centerpieces are during dinner. So we're not killing the dance floor by doing centerpieces. So here's the way that we do it. If you say, yeah, go ahead and do it your way. We ask one person at each table to hold up a dollar bill. So most people think, oh, it's the old dollar bill. But it's not. Then we ask another person to hold up a set of keys. Another person, please hold up a pen. Another person, hold up a drink. And another person, hold up a napkin. So now we have five things. Then we have them pass them clockwise around the table. And it's very interactive. It gets your guests passing one thing and then the next and then the next. And they have the drink and then the keys and then the pen and then the napkin. And they're passing all these things. So it's fun. It really is. So then we say, stop and then reverse direction. So then we have, it do it, we have them pass it counterclockwise. So then we say stop again. And then we say now it's time to give away this beautiful centerpiece that Mr. and Mrs. Smith have placed in the center of your table. Let's see who's going to take it home. All right, there are five items. I'm going to pick one and whoever it is, you're taking home the centerpiece. All right, if you are holding the dollar bill, please stand up. Hold your dollar bill proudly in the air. Congratulations because you have won a dollar. Sit down. So your guests usually think that's really funny. So then we say, okay, we're not fooling around. This time we're going to give away the centerpiece. So if you are holding on to the cocktail, could you please stand up and raise your glass? And we play, so raise your glass. So we play a little music in the background each time we announce who's going to win the centerpiece. So then we say, hold your drink high in the air. You should be very proud because you have the honor of buying the next round of drinks for your table. Sit down. So then we, we have something funny attached to each of the five things. If you have the keys, please stand up, hold the keys up in the air. Congratulations because you are taking home your entire table. You're the designated driver. Bartenders, could you please look at all these people that are standing up holding the keys? No more drinks for them. So it's really funny and for that little three minute segment, people are really, they're laughing and they're yelling and they're screaming. So it's a really fun interaction. Then we finally get to the end and we have all five things that we've already mentioned and we say, ooh, we already went through all five items. Oh yes, if you originally took the dollar out and you presented the dollar, could you please stand up? You are taking home the centerpiece. And could we get all of our centerpiece winners up on the dance floor? We'd like to get a photo of you shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, left to right, so that Mr. and Mrs. Smith can have a wonderful photo of the people who 
won the centerpieces. So then out of that, we say, could you please stay on the dance floor? And I want to add some more people and we want to get a group photo. And that's coming up in the next video clip. The takeaway from this clip is, rather than say, oh, we don't want any interaction and we don't want any games and we don't want anything or make it really simple. If you allow us to do this very robust, very interactive, really hilarious interaction for the centerpieces, it's one of those about 15 things that happen on your wedding day that people really remember and they talk about after your wedding.